a little disclaimer for the start of this video. This vlog will be a little different than the last few vlogs, definitely less scenery, because I plan to make a do-it-yourself slash life hack video. I'll get into that in just a few minutes. I need to go to work now. Now it's time to go and get the stuff I need. For the life hack I need something from the hardware store. And the bad thing is hardware stores are usually at the side of the cities. And it was too icy this morning to take my bike. So I'm going to take the bus. But I have no clue which one or where the bus station is. But I will figure that out. I found my bus station. I missed the first bus, so I have to wait like two or three minutes. But there is something much more interesting I have to show you. Do you see like this house? That's one house. Alright, I have no clue where I am, but I'm supposed to get out of here. I made it to the hardware store. Now I need to get in there and get Velcro. That's what I'm here for. Velcro. And as usual, I have no clue where to find the stuff I'm looking for. And there's no one here to help me. So just we'll go down every single aisle until I find it. I finally found someone and they told me I was in the wrong building. So now I go in that building to find what I'm looking for. Mission successful. I got everything I need from the hardware store and now I'm walking back because taking the bath is totally worthless. back at work and really need to power through another two or three hours but then I gonna show you how and what I want to do I need to go in the lab back from the lab I have to work Now I need to go home and then I'm gonna show you what I'm planning. I made it home and right now I'm gonna start to explain you how to increase the memory of your computer with Velcro. I want to increase the memory of my computer by just attaching a hard drive right on the computer. Everyone who works with photos or films knows that your space on the computer is very limited when you work with lots of files. Especially if you travel a lot, it makes sense to have the hard drive attached to your computer because you won't lose it, it's not flying around everywhere and it saves space, especially in like a plane or in a train. You need your computer, your hard drive and self-adhesive Velcro. Use the sticky side of the Velcro for the hard drive and the fluffy side for the laptop. First take your hard drive and turn it around. Now measure the velcro so it fits the length of the hard drive. Multiply them by just laying them over each other and cut them. We need at least three stripes. Take off the plastic cover and stick the velcro on the hard drive. Repeat it with all three stripes. For laptop we take the fluffy velcro. Cut the fluffy velcro a little longer than the hard drive is long. Multiply these stripes too, I would suggest at least 4 stripes. Stick the fluffy stripes 
at the bottom corner of your screen. Now you're done. Just attach the hard drive to the computer. And now some final words to this little life hack. The reason for attaching the hard drive at the bottom of the screen is especially when you have a smaller laptop, like a 13 inch laptop, the screen is thinner and not as stable as a bigger screen. And if you put a heavy hard drive at the top, it might clap down. You don't want to have that all the time. Put it at the bottom, then you're safe. Clean your laptop first, if, especially if it's a little older. Maybe clean it with a little acetone so you get all the fats off it and then it will stick very good. When you have leftovers, glue the leftovers together and match them perfectly. When one side is a little longer than the other side, cut them both off. And then you have the perfect cable binder. It is Velcro is just awesome. I hope this little velcro trick is helpful for someone else besides me. It's very late here. I need to go to bed. Stay creative.